Okay, so we want to identify what type of conic section this equation is. So for that, we're going to complete the square. And what I would, you know, recommend is to do that, you first just group, like, group the x terms and y terms together. So I would put, like, the x terms first, 2x squared plus 16x followed by 6y squared is equal to negative 20. And then you're going to complete the square for the x variables and then for the y variables. Now, before you, before you um, complete the square for x, I recommend factoring out that 2. So you get 2 times x squared plus 8x. And there's nothing to factor out for the y terms. So we'll leave it as plus 6y squared is equal to negative 20. Now, remember, to complete the square, you're going to add b over 2 squared to each side. So let me put that over here. You're going to add a b over 2 squared. So for the x variables, b is equal to 8. So 8 over 2 would be 4. So you're going to add 4 squared to the x variable group. So let me just write it like this. Now for the y variables, there's actually nothing to, um, you know, there's actually no square to complete because you actually don't have a, um, another constant or you don't have a, you don't have a, a, y, a y term, you have a y squared term. So this one's actually taken care of. We don't have to do anything else for the y. Now, um, since we added 4 squared over here, we're going to need to add that to the right side as well. But be careful because you're, also, you're not just adding 4 squared, you're adding 2 times 4 squared. So make sure you add 2 times 4 squared to each side. Now as we continue completing the square, the point of this is that it, this allows you to factor this into x plus whatever term this is. So I can write this as x plus 4, all of the second power. x plus 4 squared will give me x squared plus 8x plus 16, which is that. So plus 6y squared. This will be negative 20 plus 2 times 16. So negative 20 plus 32. So I'll get 12. And then what I do now is divide everything by 12 because I want to set the equation equal to 1. So I'll get 2 over 12. That will be the same as 1 over 6. So we have x plus two or x plus four squared over six plus six over twelve is the same as one half. So plus y squared over two is equal to one. Now um, this is my equation, and from here I can determine that this is going to be a horizontal ellipse. You can, I figure out that I that it's a horizontal ellipse because first you're adding, you have a plus sign here, and the term or the the, the value under the x variable is bigger, so it's going to be um, larger or more wide than it is tall. Now you want to figure out where the center is. So if we're going to graph this. Remember the center is going to be at h k. So remember the um. Let me just write the general form. Let me just write the general form over here. So x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared is equal to 1. So x minus h, so that means my h is negative 4, because x minus negative 4 is the same as x plus 4. And then 
y squared is, is this going to be y minus 0 squared. So my k is 0, so the center is going to be a negative 4, 0. Now, um, a squared is equal to 6. And then b squared is equal to 12. So I need to figure out what the value of a and b are. So a is going to simply be the square root of 6, which would be about... Two point four five, and then b will be the square root of twelve, or sorry, not b is not the square root of twelve. B is the square root of two. B squared is two. And that will be about one point four one. Okay, so now the value of a and b tell me how far to the left and right and up and down from the center I can plot my vertices and covertices. So this tells me how to plot the vertices. So the vertices are going to be 2.45 units to the right and left of the center. So 2.45 so the left would be like negative 6.45. And then 2.45 to the right of negative 4. We got negative Now my co-vertices are going to be above and below the center, and I basically have to move 1.41 units above and 1.4 units below. So 1.41 that would put me at about negative 4 comma 1.41. Top vertice or my top co-vertice and my lower one will be at about. Straight down here. Negative four comma negative one point four one. And see my lips look something like that. And that is your lips.